Right on. I think it's very accurate. We have to run the football better. We're committed to it, and we will. Why do you think you guys got away from it at times last year? I mean, as a play caller, I'm sure part of its flow is. It... Yeah, I mean, if I if I go back to uh, last year, I think it's it's distraction, and and I don't think it really is pertinent to our mission is to improve this spring, and that's our goal, and that's what we're going to do this spring. So, uh, I think you guys had your chance to reflect on last year. Um, and ask me questions, and, and you've been given that opportunity. But for right now, it's about this spring and moving forward. So Mike, I guess how will you guys be different then this year? What have you learned from last year? That we're going to execute coach? better. We're going to yeah. coach it better. We're going to play better. James, Mike, when just, you have an established guy like Sean, at quarterback, does it allow you to maybe take a little more time with the true freshmen and kind of bringing them along? Um, you, not necessarily. I mean, I think um, we, we have, uh, you know, certain meeting time in the off season that we're allowed to do so we're a little bit restricted there and you try to maximize with everyone and you know sean's one of those guys that is is ultra competitive everywhere on the field and in the media room so i wouldn't say there was extra time just because of of him being very experienced because they they all need um the meeting time i need to interact with them and the relationships have to build so i wouldn't say that's necessarily so mike how do you juggle reps though uh because Sean has obviously played a lot, and some of the kids that you may need as backups, that you will need as backups, uh, Christian's played some, but the other kids really not not at all. So how do you juggle reps in practice? Well, you try to break them up and, and keep them as even as you possibly can. Um, and, and at the same time, you have to start giving a, a higher ratio to the guys that you think you have to get game ready. And we don't have to concern ourselves with that right now. Um, but as, as spring comes to a close and as you get into fall camp, you, you have to be mindful of that. And that's the hard part, right? Um, giving everybody um, enough reps to, to give them a good evaluation to make sure that your depth chart's where it needs to be. And also the, the amount of reps it takes to prepare guys. What is the report card on Drew so far? What, what have you liked from him? What does he need to get better at? Um, he, he's, uh, you know, I think both Bo and Drew were coached extremely well in high school uh, in, in different systems. And so just, you know, our system's different than their systems and just getting the verbiage down, uh, being under center at times, being able to have to direct protections, um, even run checks at times, all of those things are probably the biggest um, I wouldn't say obstacles, but areas of growth right now for us um, with regard to the young quarterbacks. But they're, they're doing an excellent job. They're very far along because of how they were groomed in high school. So that they show a lot of arm talent. They have good feet. They have good pocket awareness, both of them. And right now, to elaborate any further, I just don't have enough bank reps to, to be able to give you a full report card on it. If you go to the freshman running back, James just had some good things to say about Katron and Nick. What, what are your earliest impressions and, and really how that running back group is responding? They're impressive, uh, I'll tell you. And, and those two guys are going to make it ultra competitive in that room. Um, they're very explosive. And I, what, what, what's impressive to me is that they came out of high school and physically they're, they're at a, a stage uh, to where they can do all things. You don't have to worry about what down it is with those guys. They can play on all downs because of their physical strength and their maturity. Um, so we just have to get them squared away mentally from a protection standpoint, assignment standpoint, and those sorts of things. But they're doing a hell of a job, and they're just going to raise the competitiveness, the competitive level in, in that room. How was like you're going into your second year with Bill Troutwine. Do you feel like um, with that group, do you feel like with him, are you on the same page in terms of um, mentality, scheme, personnel? improvements you want to see this fall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think we have a great working relationship. Phil's a great guy. Um, you know, any any fault of, of the run game is a fault of mine because I'm the offensive coordinator. So we're together, you know, and uh, I love the guy and he's a great coach and he's got great relationships with his players and I got much respect for that guy. What does Sean have to work on this spring? I think the, the biggest thing from year one and year two, and it's only been through what practice practice five, is just the fluidity of getting through the progressions and being able to anticipate. Um, you know, it's it's RPOs. Just he's more well versed in the system. Second year, you can see that. I think he feels that right now. Um, so just it's not probably one thing. 
it's it's everything right now just a more more of a comfort zone with how I call it how what we're looking for what we're trying to get done um, more familiarity for those of us who haven't had a chance to see Mitchell play uh, can you tell us what he brings to uh, your receiving court uh, Mitchell's a very experienced guy that that comes really game ready he has a lot of experience um, I don't think there's going to be a moment where he's wide-eyed. I think he's going to be anticipating tough competition and, and thrive in that type of setting. Uh, he's a dependable type guy, although this system is new for him. Um, once we get through the growing pains, I think you'll see sound fundamentals from him and kind of a ready-made wide receiver. When you look at your tight end room this year, return everybody. What excites you about that group? What do you think they can buy? Man, those three guys are, are the top three guys really are, are fun to fun to coach um, their leadership um, from what those guys are all about from inside their chest is, is tremendous they love football uh, they love it here they're great teammates um, but also they're very talented they can block they can play in space they can all run routes they can all catch the ball very excited about all those guys but their attitudes is is what really strikes me is they're very unselfish um, for as talented as they are there's no ego there and they work wonderful together, and, and uh, you know, Ty, Ty's got, he's lucky, he's got a great room, man, it's awesome. Do you Two think more guys. they could be utilized more this year, potentially, in terms of target shares? Is that something? I think so, for sure. Is that something from self-assessment that you think is Absolutely. set up here? Yep. Coach, what do you think of the job that Sean did at Pro Day? All eyes were on Dotson, but for a college player to step into that atmosphere, uh, how did you think he performed? Yeah, I don't, I don't see any relevance with that. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks.